Hey YouTube, I thought I would take a little quick video of our campsite. This is our maiden voyage this year in uh, New Ulm, Minnesota. And you can see by the pile at the back of the camper, we had a little bit of snow. It's all gone, it's melting now. Uh, the last couple weeks we've had a couple of feet of snow. So we're trying to actually get out and do stuff. We're at uh, Flanderoo State Park in New Ulm, Minnesota. It's just gorgeous here. I mean, our views are, obviously there's no leaves on the tree, but, uh, or any of the trees, but we had, um, the snow is quite a bit less than it was just the other day. And I thought I'd take a short little video of the outside of the 2150RB with the awning out be honest, it's the first time we put the awning out since we got it home. It just hasn't uh, worked out with all the snow and ice and yucky weather that we've had. But now, uh, let the camping season begin. Yesterday we got our hike in. We uh, hiked around on all the trails that were anywhere from no snow and all mud to six, eight inches of snow depending on where it had drifted in and it was real sloppy. It was pretty much like walking in sugar sand for part of it and tried to run a little bit of it and it was uh, pretty sloppy. The dogs had a blast. They're both never moved last night from uh, when they were sleeping so you know they were tired. And you can, if you listen close you could probably hear the furnace running. There's our buck screen where the, where the furnace actually vents to keep the uh, bugs and so forth out of there. And uh, you can see where we got our rug down and it's nice and sloppy, nice and muddy. <coughs> We've got it plugged in to the 30, 30 amp shore power with our surge protector. No need to lock it up when you're the about the only ones here and uh, there's the slide before we take off climb up on the roof up the nice ladder here climb up and take a look make sure there's nothing on top of the slide out make sure we don't suck anything into the um, to the seals around it and uh, we're good to go it was a fun day There's our little tongue, whatever they call that. I don't even know. I just got that one off of Amazon and uh, works great. It adds about six inches of height without having a whole big stack of wood there. Super stable. We were commenting how stable this trailer is compared to our last one. It's amazing. There's our levelers. You can see uh, where we pretty much buried them in the mud, but it's exactly what we wanted them to do and it worked. There's the X chocks, and uh, the, the, we, we throw down a hunk of wood underneath each stabilizer. And this one, we actually, we have in the back, in the rear here, I put down a couple of hunks just to make up the difference. And this was is the, uh, it's unbelievable how much different it is compared to our last tra trailer and just how stable it is when you're in walking around. It literally doesn't shake at all. And I didn't, Normally what I would do on a day like a weekend like this is, you know, when you have it blocked up, you know, the first day and it's so soft and so muddy that the next morning I'd get up and tighten everything. I've not tightened it up at all and she's still just rock solid inside. Don't know if you can see it or not, but there's one of the bug screens that we use. This one's for the hot water heater. There's our stabilizers are down in the back this camper and this rv is the most stable we've ever been inside this is just there's no shake there's no rattle it's just about perfect and here she is ready to be packed up and hauled off take about 15 20 minutes i'll have it uh, down and ready to go Actually, if you get it down to knowing where everything is and putting it back in the same spot every time, 
makes it just so much faster and easier to do. And then it's not such an undertaking every time.